Hey there my friends, today we're going to discuss the C output. So let's get started. Let me maximize this editor and as you may have noticed, I have created a new file. I name it ex2 underscore output.c and I have added this elements ahead of time. So we have already used the printf function to generate output in the previous lessons. So in this lesson, we're going to cover several other functions that can be used for output. So you may have noticed this line that I have typed the put character function, so put char or put character function. So this will output a single character. So we we get an in this line we get the var the the character single character and store it in the variable a and then in this line we we output or we display it the single character so let's go ahead and run this right click and compile and run so it is waiting for us to type something so let's just try random letters random letter so k and you entered k so the input is stored in the variable a and then we use this function to get a character and store it in this um, variable so let's proceed to the next one so the next next is the put s function which is used to display output as a string so let me go ahead and comment this lines first and let me add let me type this in here and I'll discuss this later on so on this line we stored the input in an array of hundred characters and then we use the get s function to get a string string of function we get a string of text and then displayed using the printf and then we use the put s or put string a function to use to display output as a string. So get get the get a string, display the string or output the string. And let us try running this program. Very compile, right clicking, compile and run. And as you may, as you can see, it is waiting for us to type something. So let's let's run that. Let us randomly type something in here. So let's say I love programming or I love C programming and you type I love C programming so the program runs successfully so uh, again the put s function this line is used to display output as a string so it, so here we get a string we need to input a string of characters and then display the string so it uh, the string will be stored in the variable a in the variable a here so before we wrap up let's test your knowledge so on this tab I have I have this missing piece of code so can you fill in the blank to output a single character so what do you think is the missing what do you think should be you should put in here so please feel free to leave your answer in the comment section below. Thank you.